Hello America, this is Call of Duty Goddess. Today is March 1st, 2016. I'm at thespectrum.com. I'll leave the link below. There's a short video here about the Finicum and the Maya Wildlife Refuge and how it was left and how the deception of the media is taking place. And huh, I've been looking into the media deception here, as you know, for some time, just in Harney County there. And I've got to be honest with you, after looking at the hateful, the mean, the outrageous, deceptive things that these people in the media do, you know, after a while of looking at it, I just have to take a break from it. It's so outrageous, the audacity of these people, the meanness, the horrificness of what they are doing is just beyond me. And you know, after researching just the Oregonian and the people that work there and what they've done and put on social media, trying to get people to spy on Sheriff Palmer and other things like that, is just amazing. And after seeing that after a while, it's like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm jumping into a puddle of mud and I need to get out and just take a long, hot shower after looking at what these people do. So it's refreshing when the spectrum gives a fresh new perspective on the reality of the situation there at Molly Wildlife Refuge. Well, I've babbled on enough, and without further ado, I'll let you hear from uh, Lavoy Finnicum's brother. Andy Andrews is a, a very positive author, uh, well loved by his readers, and he usually writes, writes inspirational stories about you know the greatness of people in this country and around the world. And, um, and, and greatness in history. But he wrote a book entitled How to Kill 11 Million People, which is a very ominous title coming from such an author. But essentially what the book is about, it's about a 15, 20 minute read about how the people of Germany allowed 11 million, 11 million of their citizens to be killed. The answer was simple, is you lie to them. And uh, what I want to say today is, uh, people of America, your government's lying to you. And how do I know? Well, recently there's been some pictures released of uh, damage done by the Patriots up on the, the Malheur Reserve. And the, the millions and millions of dollars, I think somewhere around six million dollars worth of damage that they say was caused there. And uh, I'm here to tell you it's not true. Many of their pictures, if, if you'll just do your own research, will show maybe some clutter that could have been caused anywhere, uh, very little damage. Some of the pictures they've even put up are pictures that were taken by the Patriots themselves while they were there, showing the disarray that the place was in before they came there. They're blaming it on the people that were there. Um, I cannot speak to what happened following the death of my brother and the rest of the, the Bundy brothers and, uh, and the other individuals that were up there. Who knows what happened after that? They weren't there to take care of the place anymore. But I can tell you what the place looked like when I went up there. I had the opportunity to go up there uh, in early January. I was a little concerned about what was going on up there. I would heard reports in the media. and. Uh, I wanted to know what the heck my brother was up to. But I'm here to tell you, when I got there, what I learned was not what I was being told. Not even close. These people were respectful people. They were sincere. They were speaking up in defense of their fellow citizens of Harney County. They were peaceful, but they were resolved about getting their message out. But one thing that is absolutely certain, they were very serious about taking good care of that property. Had the opportunity to sit in on meetings with the leadership there, where they talked about maintenance items and things that needed to be done. Um, they knew that while they were there, the place had to be cared for. I have some pictures of the um, reserve refuge up there. I kind of like this very first one because it says your public lands. Who do these lands belong to? It belongs to us. All of us. 
um, even Lavoy and Ryan and Ammon. So, you know, when, when we were going up there, we talked to the sheriff, or we called the sheriff and wanted to let him know that we were coming. We didn't want to have any problems or anything. We were get recontacted by an FBI agent who told us, these are your aunt lands. You should have no problems going up there. It's your right to be there. So we were up there January um, 7th, 8th, 9th is when we were up there. Okay. And it was a very peaceful place. I mean, there was snow, but they even had um, salt on the on the sidewalks. Everything was clean. I didn't see any damage whatsoever. In fact, the um, the offices looked like they had been left very messy, and I know that the people had been starting to clean things up. Um, you know, there was just a lot of things in disarray, things filed in cabinets that didn't have make any sense to me when I looked. Um, but on the you know on the outside, we've got a lot of pictures of different places up there. There's a very nice kitchen area. They kept it very nice. They had a lot of different storage areas. People had brought a lot of food to them. And it was all very well inventoried. It was stacked nicely. You know, it was a well-stocked place for feeding this many people. And they did. There were a lot of people that were in and out there, a lot of people that were invited. And um, they just came in to talk to people. You know, it was so peaceful. We could walk through talk to people, say, hey, it was nothing that was scary at all. There were people that were armed, but I don't believe that I saw anything that was out of the ordinary. It didn't seem strange or scary to me. I didn't see any damage in those things. I mean, I saw a messy room. I'd have to say that my teenager's room looks just as bad as the things, you know, with the laundry and things scattered around. Um, and I know that they left without any real opportunity to clean up. If they had known, they probably would have cleaned it up. Even if they knew they were going to jail, they probably would have cleaned it up. You know, some of the other things were not... I, I laughed about the thing with the, the alcohol under the couch cushion. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think Lavoie ever touched a drop of it in his life, and I would say the same for the Bundy brothers. That's just silly. I'm curious about some government accountability, how they think they can spend 11, or six million dollars of our money for something that I'm confident could have been cleaned up with a dozen volunteers in a matter of a day, maybe a half a day. So I think we need to wake up a little bit and pay attention to what we're being told. We need to do our research. And uh, we need to be willing to speak up in defense of our neighbors. I don't know everybody that's been arrested, but I do know my brother, who will have no chance for due process. And I do know Ryan and Ammon, and they are strong-willed men, but they are also gentle and kind men, and men filled with love in their hearts for their fellow Americans and for freedom. Now, I don't know how honest the spectrum is on everything, but I thought that was pretty honest and fair reporting. This is Call of Duty Goddess signing off, and as always, I've got your six.